Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Omoite no Marni. Uh, this is another Ghibli movie and uh, this is a little bit different in a way because this is quite, you know, uh, modern. Like I'm talking about the time when this came out. I think this came out in 2014. And uh, obviously compared to the other Ghibli movies that we've seen, uh, which were all in the nine, uh, like 1999 uh, or 1998, like in that time, uh, most of them came out, and there are some which are even like pre like earlier than that. So like a like a recent Ghibli movie, like this is quite recent. So I'm looking forward to the amazing animation that they do in this like you know movie because obviously like the pre like all the movies that I've watched. The animations are so good for their time, you know, like it was during, like it was quite a while ago, the movies were made. But even though, like, even though uh, it was so old, uh, the animations are so, like, amazing. So, yeah, like 2014 is quite, you know, uh, like recent, like it's like six, seven, seven years. So, let's see how much, you know, they've improved. The animation and everything and how much crispier or clearer the movie is so yeah um, without further ado let's get started with omoide no marni and yeah and uh, as always i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started okay so here's a countdown three two one go Oh boy, it's looking good. Clean drawings, smooth movements. Okay. Invisible magic circle. Okay. It's inside and outside. These are from okay, inside. Oh. Damn, she can draw well. Uh, okay, I'm guessing that's the art teacher or Oh Hmm Oh what what's happening to her? Oh, okay. She has some kind of disease or something? Or, or not. Maybe it's just like, you know, a common cold. In her, oh, she has asthma. Okay. Okay. So she got, you know, extremely sick in, in school. And here they have to bring her. Yeah, like as we saw, like she 
usually do not interact with others. Oh, this is dad? Uh, this is a dad? Or... Or not? You can't like... Oh, no. Okay. Hmm. That's a weird way to put it. Ordinary face or... Yeah, I kind of got what she was saying, but ordinary face is a weird way to express that. Oh, wait, so... Wait, so that means her dad is her like blood related dad and her mom is like stepmom? Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna help help for asthma, you know, like, like instead of the city where it's like full of pollution, and the air is you know like thick, not thick, but the air is. Um, uh, that's not how you talk to a person who's concerned about you. Um. Okay, I kind of get it. She's a child, like she's a kid, so you know the rebellious face that everyone has. When Marnie was there. Okay. And yeah, in a village or uh, like outside the city, it can help, you know, cleanse your like the air is clean, you can cleanse your lungs and also cleanse your mind. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice place. Oh, this is our grandma. And... Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is not like a village. Okay, I was thinking they were going to a village. It's kind of like a outskirts of city, something like that. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh, there's a nice little river here with boats. That's nice. Wait, is that a Tanuki? Tanuki doll behind? Oh my god! Hmm. Hmm, that's the lighthouse? Oh, silo. Uh, I think it's a lighthouse. Why did I even say that? That looks, looks nothing like a lighthouse. <laughs> oh.
<laughs> yeah, this is kind of like a village, like, you know, kids like laughing around, like running around and greenery. Like, I would really like to, you know, live in a place like this with um, green stuff all around. It's a nice big the house is quite big, I can see. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, also, uh, it's a wooden house. That even gives it, you know, kind of more of a aesthetic. Is is that what it's called, aesthetic? Hmm. Oh. Oh, what are these? Letters? Hmm. That's a nice bed. Wow, this this house is quite nice. I can like the you know the inside of it is quite cozy. The outside, like, look at it. What an amazing place. Hmm. Yeah, and the, uh, you know, the cool breeze. Hmm. What's that? Nikuman? Oh, no, that's, that's not Nikuman. Nikuman can be eaten as a desert. So, what was that? Manju? Okay, oh, this is a written shortcut. <laughs> Convenient. <laughs> Yeah, it's just written there. <laughs> I've never seen, you know, a shortcut where there is written that, yeah, this is a shortcut. This is the first time I've seen something like this. Oh my god. Oh, the, another, another arrow pointing towards the right direction. Wow. <laughs> Thoughtful people. <laughs> uh, they're like... <laughs> Uh, and also another thing like people might know each and every person here you know because it's a small place like everyone knows the other one by their face oh that hurts whoa Ooh. damn this looks like it looks like a you know haunted house <laughs> like not you cannot see it now but in the 
night where there's like only the moon is there oh she seems like when the, only the moon is shining the moonlight is falling on it it looks like a haunted house it would look like probably Hmm. Excuse me. It's old. The paints are falling off. It's dusty as well. I can, as I can see. Yeah, the wood is kind of damaged. The garden is overgrown. Signs of people not taking care or like people not living here for a while. Yeah, yeah, the chairs and tables are rusted, fallen off. Hmm. Oh, you fell asleep? How do you fall asleep in this weird place? <laughs> Wait, you, you had something in your... Oh, no. Oh, great. Now what? Like, I doubt she has any kind of mobile phone or something. Oh, there's someone there. Hello. Um Wow, convenient timing. Uh <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Wait. The lights were on, wasn't it? Really doesn't talk or something. <laughs> he has not said a word. Wow, sashimi and prawn. Hmm. Marsh house. Ghosts come out. Nah, yeah, she's good. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Damn. Good control. She caught it mid-air. I need to learn how to use chopsticks, you know? I can't do that. It's quite difficult. <laughs> Wait, is this a dream? I'm guessing this is a dream. 
Yeah, this must be a dream. Or not. Oh yeah, this must be a dream. Like she's, you know, drowning as in... Yeah, this must be a dream. Is this, this is the foreigner? The, like they said that this was a... Uh, yeah, it's a dream. It's a vacation room, uh, vacation house for a foreigner. Oh, she may, she's going to, you know, I think sketch the marsh house. Damn, she can, you know. Oh my God. So it's just like, ah, kids nowadays, they don't have any respect for as elders. Damn, she can draw amazingly. <laughs> Let's go. More sketching to do. Oh. Mm, what are those? No book. Yeah. If you are not good, <laughs> I, I get it. Like she's saying that because she doesn't want to, you know, uh, let others look at it. You know, I, I saw one thing like she was so happy when like before, like, she, like the previous day. Yeah. When she was like sketching and doing her own thing. But now like when you no, know, like she comes here, tries to interact with people. She's uncomfortable, so like that's her problem. Like she is really like just not. Yeah, this is what I think. Like she doesn't want to interact with people. She just wants to, you know, uh, like be by herself, do stuff herself, and maybe one person beside her. Uh, that's it. Oh.
Yeah, you can like, you know, sketch from here. Oh, she'll see the her sketching. Or not. Oh well, she doesn't care. <laughs> She fell asleep again. You know, <laughs> like, people would have freaked out if, like, you know, she suddenly sees no dreams about this certain mansion that she went and there's this blonde girl that she always sees inside the mansion like if I saw something like that, I'd get freaked out <laughs> yeah. oh what festival is this uh, oh it's like a Halloween thing Is this Obon? No, I don't think this is Obon. Yeah, she might try to, you know, talk with her. What? Oh, it's Tanabata? Or they're just doing it? Yeah, this is Tanabata. Oh, so there is. Oh my god, this kid. <laughs> um, don't look. Oh my god. Come on. You should not look at other people's wishes. What? What? Oh my god, she's going to get freaked out. Yep. She's freaking out. Um... 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 Okay, I... I... Uh... Oh. Okay, uh... Well, you know, she took it well. Like, even after that, she said, like, she was trying to invite her. Oh no, she's getting her attack.
Mm, yeah, she. I can feel like she herself doesn't, you know. Oh, she had this kind of experience. Oh, her mom died, or I thought they were divorced or something. But oh, okay. Oh, maybe the house, the marsh house will be, the lights will be on or something. God damn, something got it. Oh, what? And the candle went out. It's quite difficult to row a boat, you know, can she do it like she has her asthma problem because it might give her, you know, trouble breathing. Oh. Yeah, it's extremely difficult to row a boat, especially these type of boats, you know, where you both and you have to uh, Okay, the waves are helping her. Oh! Yep. Oh no, it got stuck. Oh! It's, it's calling her. The waves are calling her. Oh my god, it's speeding up. Yeah. Okay, get in. Uh, get up. Yep, that's the girl from your dreams. You're a real person. Um, okay. Uh, oh. Okay, one thing. I don't think this is, you know, a real person. If you know the way she is. Or maybe not. Oh. Okay. Oh, she also had dreams about her or something? Often. Oh, okay, these are not real people. I can feel like, like maybe some kind of spirits or something. Look. Or maybe not. Weird things are happening. Hmm, okay. 
Oh, okay. Wait, so how did she come back without the boat? <laughs> Wait, what? That's a weird way to refer to a person. Hmm. Okay. It's quite late, so. Oh no, this is something about not making the yukata dirty or something. Oh no! What? Wait, who said these things to you? I don't think your daughter did because your daughter seemed pretty okay with it. <laughs> yeah one thing i always you know believe like like small little things like this you know little bits of squirrels quarrels and stuff like i don't think like like elders should get <laughs> You know get involved in that like there, there's stuff happening between your children and they should you know make it up obviously like if stuff bad stuff like bullying and stuff like those are involved then definitely the like uh the adults around you should you know look into it but small little stuff like this you know little bits of squirrel quarrels or like small little things like the children should you know solve them themselves Oh, no boat. <laughs> but he came, she came early here. Oh, she's, okay, she, she's. All right. Hop in. Oh, um, where will we have the picnic? Okay, so she's kind of a real person. I thought like maybe she is some kind of special, you know, being. 
but it's still like light outside so like she's not some kind of ghost that means like i kind of thought that like in a house like that where everything is like where did she even come from i was thinking and i thought that maybe she's a ghost or something but probably not <laughs> hmm. Um, money. Yeah. The boat can. Oh. Um. Uh, okay. Damn. Hmm. Oh, okay, that's a good thing. Three questions, all right. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, one question. Two. None and... Oh, so there are people living here. Okay. Stepmom, guardian. Um, uh, I don't think that was her intention. What? Wait, she's forgetting stuff? Oh my god, so something is happening. Like, her interacting with Marnie. It's affecting her somehow or something. Oh. She was in a dreamlike state, that means. Oh, wait, she's here. What's happening here? What? what? Hmm. 
Okay, let's go to the party. Uh... Damn, look at the food. Okay, something must be happening here, you know. So many people at this house and no one knows in the village. Like what? Something must be happening. Here, like something weird. Like maybe this is a dream or something or something else. Oh, is this some kind of magic shawl or something? Or not? <laughs> oh! Um, don't mind her. Oh! <laughs> Wait, what I will do with her? Like, Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my... She might... She, she's going to... Oh! You're going to get scolded. After she gets out, after <laughs> okay, oh, what? She she said that was her. Huh? Um... Oh. What? Damn, so, so much, so much money! What? Um. <laughs> What's happening here? Okay, everyone's having a good time, so... I think that's... yeah, why? <laughs> Just drunk. Oh. 
Hmm, okay. Well, one thing I can understand, something must be happening here. Like some weird stuff. Like, the thing that is mostly suspicious is that so many people are having a party over here. And people say that no one lives here for so many years. Like, how is that possible? Okay. And then they also called her a witch, you know, I said that uh, her mom and all. So some kind of, you know, I guess I'm guessing supernatural stuff is happening here, like magic or something. She's holding her shoes. Oh, this is like Cinderella, you know, losing his shoe. Hmm. <laughs> Look where. <laughs> She can walk there now, you know, the water is quite low. Okay, let's see, like, will she be able to find her in the morning? Like, I'm guessing something happens at the night, you know, some magical stuff. And yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's a big tomato. I'm seeing cut pretty well. Yeah. Hmm. 
<laughs> All right. Wait, she forgot? Oh, so... She for... Oh, maybe, you know, uh, like people who forget are unable to see her or something like that and people who... Uh, like remember her... Can see her or something like that. It's raining. Oh, it's the other lady that we saw. No. It's Sako. Oh, maybe. Like she said that she knew uh, Marnie. Like she said that uh, it seems like someone I knew. Oh. Oh. Oh no, so the whole magic or whatever that was happening is going to. Oh, so is that the reason why she is unable to like see Marnie? What the? Um. Oh, she also knows Marnie. What? Well, everyone knows Marnie. <laughs> what? Maybe uh, Marnie came in her dream as well. Secret. Yeah, it's the place where they 
Yeah. Yeah, it's Marnie's room, isn't it? Uh, the one where. Yeah, that's the window from where. Whoa, it completely changed a few days ago. Not her, like. What? Where did she, this girl, yeah, like, hear the word, word name Marnie, like, oh, maybe, um, no, Marnie's tired. Uh, okay. Oh, everything that happened. Wait, maybe this is her, all her figment of her imagination. Oh, or not. I think she was, you know, all dreaming this. Because, you know, artists have active imagination. Oh. Maybe, like... <sighs> yeah, I was saying that, like, she, maybe she came here and read the diary. Yeah, and the flower girl that she, like, read, she put herself in that place. And, like, dreamed all of these things. Yeah, maybe Mani was a person who lived here a lot ago, like, maybe she's, you know, obviously she's not alive now. Yeah, I think she, you know, she got into the house somehow and read the diary and after reading it, she made this imaginary person. Wait, even if she was there, like, I think she's long, you know, she's not alive anymore, maybe. Like, it's quite an old house, so the people who lived here must also be... At least she's not alive or she's quite old now. And the other like artist lady, she also said that I also knew a person like her. So you know, she's also an artist, active imagination, artists have that, like they imagine a lot of things. <clears throat> This is a dream world.
Oh. Maybe she can't, you know, go outside. Yeah. Mm, not sure. Wait, yeah, like some are poisonous. She can distinguish between them. Oh. Everyone has their own problems, you know. <clears throat> Not everyone is like has flawless childhoods. No one. No one has. But like you know, look at the positive oh real parents, both of them die. Oh, so Yeah, like otherwise, why would they take you in? Like without any merit for themselves. Like all the people are looking at their own merits, but they took her in. So that means obviously because of the kindness of their own heart, they did it. What? Um, that doesn't negate the fact that Like, that doesn't negate the fact that they are good people, like Like who knows maybe like maybe they are you know bringing stuff for you f with using that money you know for your like yeah like that's what, what's what I'm saying like there are a lot of reasons um like that is one thing that you Oh, also she's also like oh okay okay so she is frustrated at the fact that she cannot believe in them after like looking at that so it's kind of both like she herself is frustrated about the fact that she cannot take it to like un like okay Hmm. Um yeah, it's a dream.
But that's just a momentary thing. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. Hmm. Oh my god, so... Okay, this is kind of becoming a dark story. Damn. Yeah. Um <laughs> That's a good luck, no? Everyone has the problems as I said. Yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> Mm. What? Wait. Okay, something weird is happening. So she's putting herself in other people's place, I'm guessing. Like the first uh, flower girl. Now maybe Kazuka took her here, took Marni here when she was alive or something, I don't know. And she, like uh, Anna put herself in Kazuhiko's place and is like imagining the whole story. I'm guessing it's something along those lines, most probably.
Okay, that's a really creepy place. Oh my god, I think... Ah! Okay, this is quite spooky. Oh yeah, I think she's, yeah. Okay, damn. Wait, it's raining inside the silo? This is, this is a manifestation of her fear or something. Oh, or it's just the wind. <laughs> okay. Okay, um... Uh, they don't even have some kind of light source, like, it's pitch dark here. Oh! Oh my god, the silo is breaking apart. Ugh. Okay, you guys better get out of this place. They're climbing the stairs. The real mom, I think. <sighs> yep, I saw this coming. Like, like she is putting herself in the different people's, you know, place and imagining the whole thing as like she was in the story. Like, Marnie has a story, which is written in the diary, and she's reading it and imagining herself in the place of the different people that, you know, helped her. For example, Kazuhiko, that flower girl who danced. I think that is how this is going. Like, you know, when, like, she was saying that Kazuhiko, Kazuhiko, Anna said that, who is, like, why are you saying Kazuhiko, I'm Anna. And then Mani suddenly changes and says that, oh, Anna. That means that, you know, she was, like, starting to realize that Kazuhiko was the original person. Not her, but then, like, I'm guessing her consciousness kind of blocked that thing again. 
Oh, the doll. Oh, it was a doll. Okay. Oh, the person. Okay, I can kind of understand. How, like Marnie, the person. How is she? You know, like she's reading the story from her diary. Like she does not know how she looks. So the person she's imagining Marnie to be is her doll. Like the doll's face. So she's using her doll's appearance and the story from Marnie in the, you know, diary and blending them together. There you go. <laughs> yeah, she Yeah. Okay, the mysteries are solving, you know, one by one. She herself has not realized it properly that this is just a figment of her imagination. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Damn. Mm. Wow. Mm. 
Oh. <laughs> from to morning from Hisako. Hisako? Oh yeah, that lady. Oh, so she knew Marnie. Yeah, this is quite old, you know, like something must have happened to Marnie. Okay. Yeah. Like their mom and dad just like went around their own way. Leaving her to the maids and this old lady. Yeah. Oh, Sapporo. Okay. Emily. Okay. Use after cutting. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Tired of oh no. Boarding school. I'm a different person. Something happened to her? Oh no. Both of them died. And the kid also, that means. Oh no, the kid, the child was alright. Next, oh my god.
So what happened to that child? Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Well, okay, don't stand up like that, you'll fall. Well, Wait, maybe, uh, um, this is like a weird, like, theory, but maybe the daughter that, uh, you know, Oikawa, uh, like, they were talking about was, you know, that girl, that, like, Marty's granddaughter, Marnie's granddaughter or something, I don't know, it's just like it, what I thought. Oh yeah, that thing. Yeah. No. Oh, wait, maybe she's her daughter. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. She's the daughter, like, she's the granddaughter. So her mom 
and that were those two like who ran away and like married and died in the car crash okay both of them yeah both of them died like she said that my both of my parents are dead oh that was marnie okay okay everything's coming together now like us all right all right so Okay, th this thing kind of slipped my mind. Okay, so yeah, this kind of shows that that was Marnie. Like, I, I had a feeling that maybe this is how it's going to go, but I had my doubts on that. Oh, she told the story. Okay, okay. Okay, a few things like as I said are different like not when did not go according to my theory, but it was kind of the same. I'm going to talk about it later on after this ends. Hmm. Okay. All right, they're going back. Yeah. This this girl. Okay, so what was that with the whole thing like like bringing out a box cutter that her mom was claiming oh this is okay oh Sapporo yeah this also was a hint like you know Sapporo, Marnie went to Sapporo, she from, from Sapporo. Yeah, she doesn't know that that's Marnie's granddaughter. <laughs> Weird owl. Oh. She made a lot of acquaintances in, you know, the few days. Hmm. all right that's the end okay um there are a few things that kind of uh like did not go as i thought it would but it was kind of similar like uh now here's the thing the actual thing that like i thought was that she like uh, anna went to that like you know abandoned mansion and found the diary and after reading the diary she you know recreated this like things that were written in her imagination and put herself in different positions of people that helped Marnie. For example, that flower girl 
in the beginning and then uh, Kazuhiko like she put herself there and like imagined the whole story uh, and her being a part of it and Marnie also was a part of it like I've thought like that was how it went but it's kind of like that but also a little bit different than I thought so the actual thing that happened was she did not go to the mansion and found she did not find the diary that did not happen but so then the question comes, how did she know all of these things? Her grandma, that is who was Marnie, told the stories to her. So she imagined herself in different like characters and like, you know, uh, thought of herself in that position and like made this whole imagination of herself playing with Marnie, herself helping Marnie, herself having a dance with Marnie, all of these kind of things she like saw and imagined. So like so the diary does not play any role here the diary was like the little girl the spectacle uh, wearing girl she found the diary uh, marnie had uh, anna had no part in it anna knew all of these because her grandmother told them to her also uh, another thing is now here's the thing like marnie saw uh, anna saw marnie obviously when she was a little child and uh, at that time uh, marnie was you know quite old she was a grandmother and uh like so how did she envision marnie you know like obviously she has not seen her in her youth you know when she was a child so how did she envision marnie in her uh like imagination i think you know when she was you know crying and holding a doll you know uh, in the flashback scene the doll looked a lot like marnie uh it's like marnie's like anna's imagination of marnie so that means i think like she envisioned Marnie as a child uh, like the doll that she always had with her so maybe Marnie did not look like that you know uh, when she was young maybe that was not at all how she looked like but that was just something that she imagined she kind of substituted because obviously to like for an imagination you need a story and also uh, like you know uh, <clears throat> like face of Marnie so that's how she envisioned Marnie that means like you know blonde hair um just like the doll so yeah i think that also i'm not sure but i think that is how it actually you know went and yeah is that the end and also yeah it's the end wow that was an amazing drawing <laughs> Okay, so yeah, that's it. So yeah, as I was saying, so so that's how it went. Now, so like I have to say, like this is an amazing, you know, kind of a mystery type of a sh uh, like movie. This had like a lot of mystery elements in it. Uh, so like I really enjoyed myself, you know, figuring stuff out like little by little how it actually goes uh and like actually like you know uh finding out the whole plot how it went and also you know kind of envisioning how things went and like seeing as it, like if it really went as i thought uh a few of my you know uh like like theories kind of went uh like in a different direction but the majority of it was correct like one thing i kind of did not like see coming was that marnie was her grandmother that was like obviously in this type of a show that's like usually something like this happens but i was thinking maybe it won't go that way so i really did not like pay my pay any attention in that thing and if i had you know paid a little bit attention uh, and thought that yeah maybe her grandma is actually marnie as it usually goes in a lot of shows i probably would have you know caught it because there were a lot of hints in there the first thing was the like when you know she kind of saw the flashback of uh like you know her grandma kind of like uh lulling her to sleep that time and also like when um like they mentioned that marnie went to sapporo like that was also a big hint so like yeah it kind of like slipped my mind i i like like i don't know why like it was weird like i thought that maybe uh you know marnie's granddaughter that they were like talking about maybe that is you know the oi oikawa or oika what was her actual like title like um 
Oiwa. Oiwa, okay. Uh, like, I thought maybe uh, Oiwa was the person, uh, like, uh, like the granddaughter of Marnie was Oiwa or something. I don't know why I thought that. It's really weird to think that because obviously, like, they were saying that. I, I thought maybe, you know, uh, like, they're also foster parents of, like, Oiwa were also foster parents of the daughter that they were talking about. I don't know why I thought that. But, <laughs> like, even though, like, uh, Mar like, Anna herself had all the conditions being fulfilled you know she was a like foster child of uh, her now uh, parents both of their parents died they lived in support all of these things were there and i still did not you know think that way uh, most probably because i was thinking that like it was too you know um like uh, what can i say like if something like that happened it would be too predictable that was why i was thinking that maybe not and but like it kind of turned out to be that and yeah like the hints were all given little by little so yeah and um <clears throat> so yeah uh that was an amazing show like an amazing movie i have to say like i really enjoyed myself uh like these type of you know uh shows i really like uh, because obviously they have you know mystery kind of things and uh you can you know you can think about it alongside the like movie like as the movie progresses as the plots kind of unravel themselves little bits and pieces the mysteries kinds of like gets cleared out little by little you can also think about it and also think about how this is going to go you can also predict stuff and in the end when the movie comes to an end you can you know compare and say that oh like yeah i thought like i i also had this kind of a feeling like this would go this way it's kind of satisfaction you know <laughs> like <laughs> you got to you know um predict it and i'm pretty happy with you know my predictions i kind of got it right in a lot of important places especially the uh thing with how like how was she, like the whole thing with her uh, like imagining herself as the different characters in marnie's story like uh, like that thing uh like you know uh, like first she thought of herself as a flower girl and then uh, as kazuhiko like she heard all of the stories from marnie and in her imagination she put herself in that story and uh, like all of those things and also because I'm, I'm sure like this also affected was like you know uh, like this the whole story of marnie also affected her because marnie was her grandma and she, like she has spent a lot of time uh, with her even though she was a little child at that moment like uh, that was also the reason why she you know put herself in Marnie's story uh, because she you know wanted to uh, interact with Marnie and wanted to have fun with Marnie uh, which unfortunately she did not get much time to do because uh, like uh, like the grandma died Marnie uh, like is not alive anymore yeah and <clears throat> So, so what actually happened? That means uh, Marnie's daughter and obviously also her husband, uh, after like, uh, like Anna was born, they died in a car crash, both of them. And after that, I'm guessing Marnie took custody of, uh, you know, um, Anna. And then I am guessing after Marnie was like also died, uh, like then that uh, flashback that we saw like uh, where you know uh, like people were kind of uh, arguing about who would take care of Marnie all of these kind of stuff they were arguing about I'm guessing uh, that happened after not after like uh, Marnie's parents died uh, Anna's parents died but after Marnie died that is her you know last living relative uh, <coughs> died so then like uh, the foster parents of uh, Anna, uh, uh, what was her name? Um, Yuriko, yeah, Yuriko. Uh, th so that was when Yuriko and her husband uh, like took uh, Anna in. So yeah. And yeah that was it that was amazing like i really liked this uh like it had a lot of things and oh and also another thing um <laughs> like uh that scene when uh that girl um 
what was her name anyways i don't remember uh, the girl who like uh, anna called fat uh, she like her mom when her mom comes and kind of complains about her to uh, oiva uh, to miss oiva um she says that uh, like mani th- uh, not mani anna threatened her with box cutter now at first i thought that maybe uh, like that was something she was exaggerating you know her mom like two ways this could have gone like uh, maybe the girl uh, like after like she called her you know fat uh, she like she kind of was like still kind of like talking with her in a good manner you know was behaving herself even though she called her fat like she said that uh, why don't we hang out next time she said something like that so that was the reason why i thought maybe she you know did not complain to her mom or do anything like that and her mom herself kind of <clears throat> you know got offended on her daughter's behalf as um some people get you know like you know there this there's this new thing getting offended on behalf of other people so <laughs> you see this thing a lot in the internet comment sections and uh, yeah it's quite <laughs> it's quite prevalent these days anyways um so her mom got offended on her daughter's behalf and came and started making stuff up and like complaining maybe that's how it went number 1 or maybe uh the girl uh was acting you know at that moment because obviously like her friends were also present there like she took the moral high ground and said that oh why don't we hang around next time but like inside she was you know kind of mad at her and then maybe she went back home and like made this kind of things up and told her mom which is the reason why her mom got you know uh, mad and went to the oibas and complained to her this is the like the two way this could have gone i'm not sure which actually happened but i don't know anyways <laughs> Yeah, it was like the way the movie was done was extremely impressive. Like I really enjoyed the way they, you know, gradually un- like reveal stuff. Like in the beginning I was thinking like what is this? Like who is this Marni? Like they didn't give us any clue. Uh I was thinking maybe this was some kind of a dream or maybe it was not a dream. So and then I thought like if this was not a dream, how do people not know that there are so many people, you know, having a party over there like how is this happening then i thought maybe this was some kind of a magic thing you know they mentioned a little witch i thought maybe this is some kind of magic story or something like people will start you know m- like <laughs> blasting spells or something <laughs> maybe fairies will start start coming from the uh, <laughs> like trees i don't know like i thought something like that would happen and it turns out like no like that was also not the case and then like when you know uh like i started understanding what was actually happened when happening when the you know glasses girl came what was her name um sayaka when sayaka came and uh, into that house and she showed the diary that was when it clicked i thought that oh so maybe you know maybe she, like the uh, marni was an actual person who lived here a long time ago and anna is just envisioning the you know like getting an imagination Uh, and like imagining marni and herself to be friends and then the question came that um how is he imagining herself like she doesn't know the story behind marni and then comes out the diary and like marni herself had told her the, as a, when she was a child uh, when anna was a child that kind of explains that so yeah and uh, like uh, for, like also even in the middle of the uh, like movie when it like uh, uh, half of it was over we still had no clue and then like slowly slowly it you know started bringing up small clues and even gave us the time to figure it out us- ourselves and almost at the end it like revealed everything like that's a good way like good storytelling you know like the first half you are given no clue uh, it builds up the whole like mystery thing and then uh, from the second half it starts giving us small little hints small little clues and gives us the time to figure it out ourselves and then almost at the end uh, at the end they reveal the thing and we can you know see that how it went and like compare like uh, ah did the thing that we think and uh, did our theories come true we can you know um compare it and kind of feel better about your, ourselves 
<laughs> that what that's what it actually is like us <laughs> making up theories and thinking like yeah i got it like i'm so like <laughs> like good job me <laughs> something like that <laughs> oh god <laughs> okay so yeah <laughs> yeah like i have to say like um i figured like m most of it out so yeah good job me <laughs> okay so yeah mm. okay this is obviously not some kind of like detective like story with some like murder mystery or like this is not like detective corner uh like those like type of shows have quite difficult you know mysteries like this was not a difficult mystery at all but <laughs> like um uh, but still like an achievement is an achievement <laughs> all right so yeah and um was there anything else let me just check and yeah and also another thing like marnie's uh story was really kind of you know sad like um like it was sad in a few bits and also happy in a few bits uh, all of this no it, it's majority it is sad because you know amarni uh, like lost so many people uh, first her husband then um her daughter like and also her daughter's husband and she like kind of uh, like went to the sanatorium for a few uh, i'm guessing years which is the reason also why she and her daughter were unable to uh like interact and her daughter uh was you know kind of became angry at her like like i cannot like blame either of them you know her daughter or herself because obviously she went to the sanatorium because of a reason like she was mentally um like unwell so that was the reason why she went there it's not that she went to went there to uh, like spend a vacation or something no it was a necessity so like in that way i cannot blame marnie and also at the same time like her daughter um like she was a child at that moment so obviously like um it kind of you know uh made her kind of bitter towards her own mom and because obviously like not having a mom at such a young age and also a dad it's kind of hard you know uh, the people who look after you like you always feel like a stranger uh like like alongside them and uh even if you're in an orphanage or something like like it's really hard you know you you have a uh, extremely you know tough childhood so that is also the reason why i cannot blame her as well but like it's a really a shame that uh you know like she like Marnie's daughter also died and they did not make up like these kind of things you know kind of uh like clear out as people grow older and like i'm sure like if uh, Marnie's daughter did not die and she lived you know she lived uh, alongside her own daughter spent time with her daughter and uh, you know lived a normal life with her husband and her daughter i'm sure that one day would have come where she would be able to forgive her own mom and they would have made up unfortunately that time did not come she died before that she and her husband and like ironically like like her own daughter also did not get you know the love of her parents at such a young age which she also kind of uh like you know uh, experienced but thankfully uh, her like mom that is um, uh, Anna's grandma Marnie was there and she kind of took care of uh, Anna for a few years after which she also died so like a sad kind of you know like story like her whole uh, like family like all her ancestors everyone like had bad lives had unlucky lives like everyone her like Marnie Marnie's daughter and Anna also kind of had a little bit of, uh, you know, bad uh, childhood. But like, thankfully, like her foster parents now are good people. They are looking after her, and she's getting, you know, the love that like she at her age requires a parent's love. And yeah, and and also there's this whole thing with the you know the money that they're getting getting 
uh, and like I think that was her kind of you know griping about stuff like that was like she herself knew that obviously like they're getting money but that does not mean that they don't love you like they're getting the money but she herself also mentioned it that like I'm like hateful towards myself because I am only thinking about it like that that oh they're getting money that means they do not love me they're doing it all for the money like she herself knew that that is not correct but she hated herself because she is always you know thinking like that negatively so yeah and yeah like that that was like uh, Anna's problem like she was too negative like that was her problem like, even though she knew that a lot of things that people did were from the goodness of her of their heart she was unable to accept it and she kind of always you know sought out the negative of things and became sad herself like it's like an like endless cycle like yeah but thankfully like after this experience after experiencing this uh you know she changed and i'm sure it will go in a good direction after this she made a lot of friends like uh like that girl uh, sayaka and then also toichi, toichi also kind of started talking <laughs> and uh she and her mom kind of patched up like uh sasaki uh, uh yoriko uh they kind of you know uh, the relationship became stronger and yeah everything's good so yeah that was this uh movie like i like i was not expecting a movie like this but i have to say like i was really surprised and i am glad that this is like how this movie went in this direction and i'm really like obviously like everything is amazing like the whole uh like the animation is clean the like uh, like art style is amazing and <clears throat> it was a really beautiful show like all of those like different types of sceneries that we were being shown they were amazing and uh the story itself was so good and uh the mystery as aspect of it was also, also good they uh like like it was enjoyable kind of thinking alongside like watching the movie like how is this going how is this happening these kind of things and yeah all in all this was a extremely pleasant experience and yeah i loved it so so yeah guys that's it guys so thank you guys for watching this was um omoide no marni and uh like I think this also goes to one of my top Ghibli movies, you know, like, uh, I think the, the top Ghibli movie of, for me is um, Lapta. Lapta is like, you know, the, in the top position. After Lapta, it's uh, Mononoke Hime. And then comes Spirited Away. And after that, if I would, like, I would probably put um, this one, Omoide no Man. Like I really enjoyed this and after that I would probably put uh, a break of the fireflies like uh, it was sad extremely sad but um, yeah like that's the reason why like it's so low because I really do not you know I'm, I'm, I'm really not comfortable with sad stories like uh, it's really not uh, like <laughs> what can I say like uh, uh, yeah uh, if like a hotel uh, like uh, uh, but also at the same time like grave of the fireflies because it was realistic and um like you know so sad it's so good so yeah it's kind of you know paradoxical <laughs> like yeah anyways so yeah that was like you know my ranking of the ghibli movies up until now so yeah this was good i really enjoyed this uh, a lot more than i expected to enjoy myself but yeah so yeah guys so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys uh next week so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed or you haven't and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll be sure to check them out and oh also i forgot uh, what will i do the next week okay so i will do um this one uh gake no we no ponyo i think this is what it's called yeah and the english name is ponyo okay so yeah i'll do this and uh, gake no ue no ponyo this has also quite a high rating and um, yeah 
So next week, Gaku no Ue no Ponyo. So yeah, guys, uh, see you guys next week uh, with a new movie. So yeah, until then, goodbye and have a nice day.